Coming up at 11, we have the latest from Governor Andy Bashir on the impact of the coronavirus in Kentucky. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News Weekend Edition. Good evening, I'm Emily Bennett. Kentucky crosses a threshold tonight as Governor Andy Bashir announces 103 confirmed cases of COVID-19. Today's new cases came out of Fayette, Jefferson, Henderson, Christian, and Hardin counties. Along with the new cases today come new restrictions. Shelby Smithson has the details on Kentucky's new normal. It's become a routine, not necessarily one we look forward to, but one we can count on when Governor Andy Bashir steps up to the podium to deliver his COVID-19 update. It always starts the same way. We will get through this and we will get through it together. It's what comes next that has the potential to impact countless Kentuckians' lives. Sunday, there were two new orders to take effect Monday night at 8. First, banning in-person traffic in all non-essential retail stores, places like clothing and jewelry stores. That does not include places like grocery stores, pharmacies, gas stations, and liquor stores. There is no need to rush to those types of stores. There is going to be enough of all of the essentials uh, for everybody. Second, banning all elective medical procedures. That's something that was already recommended but will now be mandated. When asked about other states' mandates to shelter in place, Governor Bashir says that's not a term he'll use. He says many of the restrictions are actually the same, but Kentucky has taken a gradual approach that he's calling healthy at home, and he's hoping will prevent panic. And Bashir always ends with encouraging every Kentuckian to be a positive player on Team Kentucky as we all get used to the routine of our new temporary normal. It won't be forever and I look forward to that day where we can all be back within six feet of each other. At the state capitol, Shelby Smithson, WKYT. Now Bashir did say those non-essential retail stores will be allowed to offer delivery and curbside pickup for orders placed online or by phone. We have a list of what will be open and closed on our website, WYMT.com. Now in yesterday's news conference, Governor Bashir asked all churches across the state to ring their bells at 10 this morning. Here we go. Here in Hazard, First Baptist Church was up to the request. The congregation rang its bells this morning. The church has fallen in line with Bashir's orders to cancel all services due to the coronavirus outbreak. And Senator Rand Paul has tested positive for the coronavirus. He announced the positive test from his professional Twitter account. Paul becomes the first U.S. Senator with a confirmed case of COVID-19. The Senator took the tests out of caution due to travel. He is currently without any symptoms and is in isolation at the time. Paul plans to return to the Senate floor once the coronavirus quarantine is lifted. An Everett's funeral home in Harlan County is providing a new way for family and friends of loved ones to watch funeral services due to the coronavirus outbreak. WYMT's Dakota Makris met with the funeral director and has more on how the funeral home is doing this. A governor mandate during the COVID-19 pandemic. We're doing everything we can to try and help the families during this difficult time. Only allowing the immediate family or those listed in an obituary to attend a funeral service of a loved one. We started searching for something to be able to help families still be able to grieve, allow the community to still be able to participate with the funerals. After searching, funeral director Joshua Shackelford found a solution, streaming funeral services on Facebook Live if the family allows it. With their explicit permission only, will we do anything live on Facebook? And we do have it to where the, only the service is broadcast. Using Facebook Live is like a virtual receiving of friends. Just watching the comments during the funeral, I mean, just it just lit up. I mean, you know, people that couldn't actually be here or didn't know how to contact the family, they were able to just leave a comment, you know, if nothing more than praying. And giving those comments to the family. What we've done, we've actually printed those comments out. We've actually taken photos of the uh, floral arrangements and gifts that were sent, 
and you know just give the, everybody the ability to still participate. Using Facebook Live as a tool to connect those who could not be a part of the funeral service. In Harlan County, Dakota Makeris, WYMT Mountain News. Now the funeral home said Facebook Live will still be available to families even when Governor Andy Bashir lifts the mandates. And the Harrison County Hospital is taking further precautions to prevent the coronavirus outbreak. Harrison Memorial Hospital helps provide guidance to whether or not an individual needs to get tested for COVID-19. The cough clinic is a walk-in health center that does not require an appointment. The clinic hopes to give people a quick diagnosis for the coronavirus and other common illnesses. That's why we're calling a cough clinic because really and truly uh, there's there's still quite a few cases of flu in our community. Uh, there's still people with strep throat with other uh, viral infections. Harrison County had the first confirmed COVID-19 case in the state. The cough clinic is open every day from 1 until 8. Now, students with the University of Pikeville are now receiving all their classes online. This comes as a precaution to the COVID-19 virus. WYMT's Marianne Fletcher talked with university officials about the transition. It's a different routine. It's really required us to be innovative and adaptive and really pull together. Students at the University of Pikeville are finishing their spring semester online. Understandably, there's a lot of anxiety from the students. But Professor Kathy Cottle says anxiety is met with the small campus mentality. It was very little discussion of content and more just checking in and making sure that people were doing okay. Embarking on foreign territory, professors are taking extra steps to make sure their students are comfortable. So for instance, I've been experimenting with virtual office hours with students. Around 125 students are still living on campus. Many of our students uh, don't have good internet access at home or they have food insecurity or housing insecurity. And so we needed to provide a place where those students could still eat regularly and have a safe place to live. UPike President Dr. Burton Webb says the University on the Hill poses as more than just an institution. But schools like the University of Pikeville, where we talk about the UPike family all the time, we take that very seriously. Making sure students stay on track with the resources they need. UPike is open for business. We're still teaching students. We're still educating folks. As the classroom may look different, their family mentality remains the same. In Pike County, Marianne Fletcher, WYMT Mountain News. Now, right now, officials with the University of Pikeville have not made a decision to hold a graduation ceremony this spring. Well, the rain is officially back here in the mountains, but depending on where you are in the region, you may be seeing showers at this moment or not. If you look over into Pikeville, US 119, US 23, they've actually managed to stay dry for much of the evening, and even now these showers haven't quite hit them yet. But if you look over to the other side towards Interstate 75 at Mount Vernon, you can see those wet roadways there where those showers did pass through. So be careful if you're on that side. Just be careful. You could see a few slick spots on the roads. We've kind of seen these showers come on into our region and pass by over the past couple of hours. Really now just making their way out of the central portions of the region and heading towards the eastern portions, heading on into Pikeville and into portions of that eastern side. So just be careful over night for some slick spots but overall not looking too bad temperature is going to be on the warmer side tonight and we're going to continue to see these rain chances as we head into tomorrow as well and i'll break those down for you here in just a little bit emily thank you brooke now deputies continue the search for a leslie county man today yesterday morning a man crashed his car into cutching creek and was swept away Two of the three people escaped from the vehicle as it was washed away, but the third passenger is still missing. Crews began searching yesterday and continue the search this morning. We will provide updates to this story on our website coming up. Now, Kentucky State Police is conducting a death investigation in Jackson County. KSP received a call yesterday afternoon about possible human remains in the county. Upon further investigation, KSP determined that the remains belong to a 70-year-old woman. The woman had been missing since January 31st. We will provide the latest updates to this investigation on our website, wymt.com. 
and a Bell County man is behind bars after setting a bathroom on fire. This happened at a pilot gas station one mile north of Middlesboro this morning. John Isbell was identified as the subject in the case. Multiple departments responded to the scene. Isbell is charged with a first degree arson and wanton endangerment. He is being held in the Bell County Detention Center. And a house fire broke out in Middlesboro this afternoon. The Middlesboro Fire Department believe the fire started in the chimney. Smoke was in the house and the fire was around the chimney. The fire extended into the second floor of the home. The front of the house suffered heavy losses, but the department controlled the fire there. Thankfully, everyone was out of the home when the fire spread and no one suffered any injuries. Coming up at 11, we give you a glimpse of what it's like being sick with the coronavirus. And the rain is back. I will break down tomorrow's forecast for you and let you know how long the rain will be sticking around coming up.